Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. And welcome to the Science Hutch. That's the science, and I'm not Hutch. I'm Science Tyler, in fact. And today we are talking about AP Physics 1 investigation number six, which deals with pendulums and simple harmonic motion. So as outlined by the College Board, your central challenge is to discover the factors that affect a pendulum's motion. So when we go back to the lab, you're gonna be dealing with pendulums and measuring data from them to help uh, find some equations that govern them. So some background, uh, the first common misconception with pendulums is that you know the tension equals the mass times the gravity on the bob. And that's uh, just not true. And make sure we, that you don't get caught in that trap because the bob is going to have momentum because as it goes through the swing, the pendulum is converting the gravitational potential energy into kinetic energy. So as it gets to the bottom, there's gonna be more tension on the string than just the weight. But now we're gonna go back to the lab. All right, so welcome to the lab. And you can see this setup, uh, it's a lot simpler than a lot of the other ones we've done so far. And even this is a little bit cluttered. And the reason that this is up here, it's, it says pendulum right on it, right? It's not the best pendulum to use because it can also swing this way. This one, no matter how much you try, will never do that. Okay, I can even like start it way up here and it self corrects and it just goes down and starts swinging straight again. So we don't want to use this pendulum. So science norm, can you take this out of here for me? Thank you, science norm. All right, so. Before we get into the actual pre-lab, we need to get some data taken down. So you're gonna need to write down the mass of the pendulum bob, which is gonna be 500 grams. And we are also going to need to measure the length of the pendulum. So you're gonna just set a ruler on top and then come down here to the center of mass and measure about how long it is. And this is about 47 centimeters. So make sure you write that down in your notebooks. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually do the pre-lab. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna time 10 oscillations of this pendulum. So going from here all the way to back here and up to here again. So make sure you time that, we're gonna do it 10 times. So take out a phone or a stopwatch or something, pause the video until you get that ready, uh, and then just stop it when we're done. So here we go in three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. So now that you've got all that data taken down, um, that's all we have to do for the pre-lab. So see what you can do to, to figure out, you know, what might affect the pendulum's motion. All right, so now for the actual lab, uh, what we're gonna do for part one is you're gonna brainstorm some of the ideas that will affect a pendulum's motion. So think about some of the things that we talked about in the pre-lab, but also think about some other things that might affect it. And I'm not gonna give you any hints here, but use your brains. Uh, so what we're gonna do for that part is just take that down and you're all gonna have to uh, individually design experiments to test whether each of those variables will affect the uh, period and motion of a pendulum. So let's say that we were gonna test a variable and that variable would be mass. So we can do what we did for the pre-lab and we have our data already for that. And so what we can do is we can time our oscillations, whatever and change out the mass. So we're gonna go for a different mass here. And now we're you're just gonna measure the, pen, the period again. Plain and simple. So do something like that to test all the different variables that you can come up with for your experiment. So now what we're gonna do with part two is we're gonna take out a motion detector out of the cabinet and set it up. You'd have a LabQuest attached to it as well. Uh, but this is just for a little demonstration. Set it up, make sure it's in the cart mode rather than uh, the object mode, because this is a little small. And make sure that when you do this, uh, you use a large mass. Otherwise, this, the motion detector won't pick it up. And make sure you also have plenty of room because if it gets too close, it won't read it properly. So make sure you have a little bit of, di of distance that you can play with. So what you're gonna do for this is you're just gonna graph the position versus time of the pendulum and see see how things affect it. So do your same variable changes there and that's that's all that we have for this lab. So thank you for joining us for the science hutch. That was the science, I'm not the hutch, but uh, thanks for joining us and have a great day.